Hello there and welcome to another MiniGuard 951 tutorial and today I'll be showing you how to make a 3D Tiger. I made one a little while ago but this uh, 3D Tiger is on two feet, the other one was on all fours. So I hope you enjoy and follow along. It shouldn't be too hard to make so if you just do a row of two blocks then a space of two and then a row of two. And then you want to go back another two here another two and another two Ooh, two Ooh, like that Ooh. <laughs> get there in the end yeah so it should be a row of four so you end up with that and obviously these are his feet right you get your orange wall count one away from the edge and place two like that and then another two behind and then at the back here you want to get your black wall and place two like that should have something that looks similar to that. On top of your black wall you want to place two orange and then four black in front. As you can see you get the stripey effect for uh, for the actual uh, tiger itself. So you want two there and then another two on top. Same with the other side. Like that. In fact, let's take that off for a minute. That was wrong. <laughs> Right, after you do the legs, you get your white wall here. From the black to the other black, you want to come across two. Then a row of black behind that. Then a row of orange. Like so. Then from there, you want to go out. <coughs> black. Orange. This is the start of his tail basically. Then you want to go orange diagonal like that. Then another orange diagonal. So one, two, three. And then on this side you want to put black there. And there. <coughs> like so. And then on top of this one you want a, a row of black and then a row of orange. And then black coming out of the edge here. So as you see, that's that'll be his tail. Right, from there, if we go to this block here, that one there, and then place an orange block here and on the exact same on the other side. Like that, so you can have them sticking out. And then a black block on this corner and this corner. Right. So on top of this, <coughs> you want a row of black going one out either edge. So you should have something that looks like that, so it sticks out just over the orange either side. And then on top, you do an orange, but make sure you leave out the end blocks. So it looks something like that. Then uh, two black on top and then two orange on top. And then a black with one at either edge, like so. Right, as you can see it's starting to take shape now. So if you get orange on the end blocks of this and come out one either side, like that. And then this one here, you want to come out to, like, to, like that. So it comes out one, and then on top of here, you want to go one either side. So it's a row of four. Then on top of that, same again, but do it with black. And then a row of two orange on top of that. Like that. Starting to take shape now, as you can see. And then from here, this you want to come on to the inside of it and go out either side again. So it's one block either side. Uh, yeah, one block either side. Then you want to go diagonal here, making sure it's uh, three blo four blocks long. So you've got obviously one block of black either side. On the corners you place the black blocks like that. And this bit goes forward too, so 
that's your row of two there on this edge you want to go up one there and up one this side right yes that's right right so what we'll do is we'll come around and start doing the front again so you come down to this uh, white white your two white blocks here and you want to come out one block either side so you've got a row of four and you want to go up three like that and the same with this one and this will be like the chest of your of your um, tiger you come in one do two there In fact, no, do two there and then re replace the corner blocks like so. You have something that looks like that. Right, time to do the arms. So if you go from this black block here, you want one orange, one black, and then two orange out. So that would be the top, top half of his arm. And on top of here, you want to place a black in a little L, like that. So it looks like that, and you do the exact same for the other side. You get your orange, black, orange, but come out two. And then on top, you do your, your blo blocks of black, like that. Right. So from this block here, if you go one back diagonal like that. And then one underneath here like that. That should be the start. And then this bit here, you want a 2x2 two two white wall for your hand. Yeah. As you can see, it's starting to take shape. So you could do the same here. Take this out. Place your... That would be the start of his hand. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right, so from there, you've done that. Then you want to go one diagonal back. And then this should be a row of two uh, orange, two black. Like that. And then an orange on the back, like so. And then a black, you want diagonal here as well. So it goes, you've got two diagonal there and two diagonal there of your separate colours. So from this one, this one wants to go across two, so it meets up. And the same with the black. You want to make sure that goes across two and the, the orange underneath here as well. So as you can see, that all connects up there. We do the exact same for the other side. So we want a diagonal black here and a diagonal orange there. So we take that out like that. It should have something that looks like that. Orange all the way round. This bit will be black. Like so. And then from this orange one you want to go in as well. So it all links up so there's no gaps underneath. Right. There we go, that's pretty much the bottom half of him built. Time to do his head. Which is always the fun part. So from here, you can go count one, two out. Destroy that block, two there. Then you want to go one either side. And then in one and out one. And the same with the other one. In one, out one. So there you go, that will run back until there, so make sure it goes on to the black, to the edge of the black. That's just the base of it, we'll uh, continue with it a bit more in a minute. So you want to come out two at the front here, then on this corner you want to go up two and up two, like so, and the same on the other side. So diagonal and then up to diagonal then up to so you have something that looks a bit like this you put your two black wall there for the nose all right so if you come around the side get your white wall out again come out a layer like that 
do a block of uh, two by two and then uh, one here and then one protruding at the side there so that will act as like a whisker do the exact same the other side out up two by two square one at the bottom one sticking out as you can see that's just that's his uh, face starting to take shape I will quickly go to bed so you can see what I'm doing. Right, we had a good sleep, we're all rested. Let's carry on with the building. So, from here, what you want to do is fill these two blocks in so it makes a row of four at the front. Right, your edge blocks here and here, you want to go in and go up to, to make your eyes. Like so. And then you want your orange wall. And you want to fill in a 2x2 two two square here. And then from this block here, you want to fill your white, uh, your orange wall all the way around to here. Oop. There you go. And then you want to come in a block for this row and go in for a row of four. And then behind that, you want to come in and go out either side. So you've got blocks sticking out. Row of six. Right, your two centre blocks, you want to put some black there. And this is where we're going to start doing your ears. So two blocks like that. Then another block on top. And then one at the side here. So there you go, that's the start of his ears. Do the same on the other side. Fill in these bits with white wool. As you can see, he's starting to take shape now. So, let's go round to start doing these side bits a bit, shall we? So from here, black wall, black wall, out one and that. So you've got like the little S and you do the exact same on the other side. Da, 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 da. Like so. So you get like a little pattern there. Right, from there, you want to get your uh, orange wool out. And you want to come out one, two here, and then count three across. And on the middle block, go up one. So you get like that sort of a upside down T pattern. Do the exact same with the other side. On top of the black block, come out two, then another two, and then the middle block, place that. Right. On this block here, you want a black block there, and then one directly diagonal. And the same with the other side. One here, one diagonal, like so. As you can see, it's starting to take shape now. So from here, you want one there, one there, black wall, and then underneath, an orange. Do the exact same on the other side. So we go up, and we want a black wall diagonal here. Is that right, in, in wise? In fact, one here, and here, and then an orange underneath. So it's on level with with this upside down T. And then from the ear, you just want to go dia three diagonal down. One, two, three. And on the fourth one, like so, and you want to go in one as well. So same again. Diagonal block there, there, and one underneath here, and go in one. So as you can see, the shape of his head is almost done. Just got to do the surrounding bits. This bit here would be two black, and the same on the other side, two black. Right. And then from here, we start doing the rest of the white, I think. Oh no, we'll, we'll do the orange. So if you come down to this block here and do like an inside L, so it wraps around the, the rest of the orange, same on this side, like that. Come back so you can have a look where I'm on about. So it's just after these two diagonal bits you want this little L block of orange right now from here you want to bring 
you white wall out one and that one and in one either side so you do this there you go and now for this last corner block you just place a black block in there like that and that and there you go that is one 3d tiger i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and it was easy enough to follow don't forget to leave likes comment and subscribe take care goodbye